But Airwolf didn't talk, D. It That's didn't. just ridiculous. That would be- hey, and welcome to another installment of Mike and D versus the world. Um, I'm Mike. I'm D. And today we're going to be reviewing a few more of the classics from the 80s. Today we're going to start with one classic from my childhood and I believe from your childhood as well. Yeah, I was pretty stoked about this, especially because of, you know, the theme tune, Mike. The theme tune. (laughs) Oh, you don't know the theme tune? I don't know the theme. How's how's it going now? Starring Jan Michael Vincent. You might have guessed by now, we're talking about Airwolf. 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 Wow. We should explain to the uh, viewers what Airwolf <laughs> is because at the we're moment they have an idea of ago. a flying wolf. Yes. Which is not what it, we're talking about here. Yes. Yeah, but All that's right. what they wanted terrorists to think. They wanted right. terrorists to think that there were flying they wolves. They had flying wolves <laughs> <laughs> trained to get them. No, that's something I would have watched. Yes, yes. Airwolf. Um, was a TV series that we watched in our childhood and it starred Jan Michael Vincent who was like the man of his day Um, extra chiselled chiselled looks you know very Aryan looking Um, (laughs) so basically he was in charge of a helicopter which was built by the CIA it's not any helicopter yeah it was a top secret helicopter supersonic super right so you know when you hear stuff like that and you're eight yeah, on TV. Supersonic. I don't know what that means. It must be good. It was um, piloted by a lead character whose name was Stringfellow Hawk. That's a real so name. Stringfellow Hawk. Stringfellow Hawk. That. Now, when in on TV back in those days, all the heroes had those sort of names. Yep. Like um, what? MacGyver. MacGyver. Uh, Stringfellow yeah. Hawk. Even Michael some of the actors. Knight. Yeah, Michael Knight. See, they're all leader names. Yeah, you had Stringfellow Hawk. And basically, he was the only one who could pilot um, Airwolf, which was the name of the helicopter. He was hired to steal Airwolf after Airwolf was taken to Libya by the creator who then had to... Defected to Libya. Defected to Libya. But then needed to hire Stringfellow Hawk to get Airwolf back. Why do I understand? I mean, how did he get there in the first place? They must have known he was coming. They already had Airwolf. It wasn't like you could sneak up on them. Apparently, <laughs> Stringfellow Hawk knows how to use Airwolf better than the man who created it. Yeah. So he was able to and steal it And what I was him. thinking, if he stole it and brought it to Libya, why don't you just bring it back yourself? Well, no, he's bringing it back from Libya to America. Yeah, but the guy who stole it yeah. brought it to Libya. Yeah. So they yeah. had to go to Libya to steal it back. No, the guy who stole it hired um, Stringfellow Hawk. No, for the CIA it hired Stringfellow Hawk. Don't know what for the same people. Well, yeah, but the guy who stole it defected, didn't he? He stole it to take it to Libya. Got you. You know, yeah. that had totally been lost on me <laughs> the whole time. Only I've... now, 30 years later, it makes sense. So now we've established that. So Stringfellow Hawk steals it back, but his fee is for the CIA to look for his brother who's still lost, missing in action in, in, in Vietnam. Vietnam. But, years after the war was ended. But so, CIA being the CIA... They said, yeah, we'll get on that. Yeah, we'll get yeah. right back. You just bring that helicopter over here. Yeah, that's right. Just put the keys right there. We're totally, we've got a whole group of guys waiting in a chopper. They're heading guys. to Vietnam to get back your brother or your mother or whoever. We're, we're totally on that. Brother, just mother, me. lover, dog. <laughs> that's it. Cares. Just come a little closer with those keys. That's it. Yeah. Hey, where so, you going? Where are you going? But Stringfellow Hawk, he's, he's smart, you see. Yeah. So he's like, not well, where's my brother? Where's my brother? I, I can't see him. Where, what's in that bag? <laughs> that's not my brother. It's behind that curtain over yeah. there. Yeah, he said, that's not my brother. Those... <laughs> Those are clearly socks. <laughs> socks. All right. So he <laughs> says, you know, I'm not going to give you back Street Hawk. I mean, not Street, street Hawk. Hawk. Uh, did he have Street Hawk? He as had well? Street Hawk as he well. He was a very primitive Sorry. man. <laughs> All right. So I, I, I stole the wrong CIA vehicle. Take this back and trade it back in. I mean, last week he came in here with Night Rider. Don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh. So this is why the CIA distrusted him. Didn't know what he was doing. Are you, are you sure you've got Airwolf this time? Because last time you brought us the, the motorcycle. Yeah. The motorcycle is not a helicopter. Last time I saw Airwolf, yeah. it was a helicopter. Yeah, now you have to bring us a bike. We said, right, well, I'm not going to give you back Airwolf unless you bring back my brother. Yeah. So in the meantime, I'm going to solve random crimes. With and a helicopter. A helicopter. And he's also armed with an old man. <laughs> and you laugh, 
But this old man was the most famous old man of his time. Of his time, that's his right. His name was Ernest Borgnine. For you see. younger kids who don't know who Ernest Borgnine, you will probably recognise him as the voice of Mermaid Man from the Spongebob cartoons. Did so, he do Mermaid Man? That's it. Ernest Borgnine Ernest lived Borgnine. out the rest of his days doing Mermaid Man. He that was, is a damn shame. He was I'm on the verge you. of a comeback just before he died, but then he obviously... Died. Died, yeah. yeah. Man so, had the... I mean, he was the oldest man on film. Yes. <laughs> throughout his career. But the funny thing, always a happy man. Always happy. Very, <laughs> yeah. Always laughing. Up until the end. We enjoyed that show immensely as kids. Uh, and those, there, there were a few plot holes, though, Mike. I mean... Like? Well... Don't, yeah, don't spoil the dream. I'm not. I'm just... There's just a few things I want to clear go, up. Go on. I'm a little unsure. I will clear sure. these. I will clear it up for you. You've got now. all the answers, Mike. I'll, You're going to make everything nice and clear. Apart from what you cleared up earlier. But <laughs> okay, all the other answers. All of that. Firstly, right? Yeah. You steal a top secret CIA helicopter. Yeah. Would you keep that? He had a mountain. That he, he had a mountain. You don't just go around nicking helicopters, right? Without well, you your own mountains. mountains. No, you don't nick mountains. Oh, you legally bought it? He didn't buy it. So it's not his? No, he... Look, it didn't belong to anyone. It's a mountain. Who it's owns just, mountains? <laughs> right, well, do you know anyone who owns a mountain? Well, if he's do not Do you know his. anyone who owns a mountain? In the intro, which you can check out, right, you'll see a shot where he is, um, where Airwolf is coming out of the mountain. Oh. Yeah, so, so he hollowed like out. He hollowed out a whole yeah, mountain. Yeah, yeah. Him and this old man. Actually, no, I know what, I now remember. I remember. Oh, it said that episode you didn't see, but essentially what <laughs> happened is that they just used Airwolf to just shoot a hole into the mountain. So they blew up the inside of a mountain. Yes. That leads me to my second point. Yes. In the trailer, in the intro, sorry, you see a lot of machine guns, missiles, yeah. bombs. Yeah. Where did they get all that stuff from? I mean, I'm assuming when he stole it, it was fully loaded. He didn't need to use any of that ammunition. Get it brought out it back of Libya. over from Libya. It brought it brought all it back, back over, yeah. With a lot of... He managed to re... Stock all the ammo while in Libya. Well, yeah, he had all the, the um, schematics and stuff. It's, Don't dig too deep into what it. that word means. Okay. All right, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't. That's not important. Supersonic. And schematics, right, stuff you don't go. understand yeah. beyond you, beyond yeah. your understanding. Mine's, I don't at know. any point in your life. I'll never get it. Yeah. So he had the schematics and the supersonics and, and, the, supersonic. and the blueprints to build more out of absolutely nothing. Nothing. So, yeah. So, so he had this hollowed out mountain schematics. Ability to make weapons out of thin air. Well, actually, no, because what you found out by coincidence whilst shooting into the mountain is that it all was the materials, of, of no, all weaponry. the materials needed to make that weaponry was already in there, as well as the fuel to power Airwolf. Again, yes, all another, within that mountain. It was a very lucky thing you found that mountain and didn't yeah, blow plan, it up with planning, all those weapons. Planning. Stringfe- you don't call him Stringfellow Hawk for no reason. <laughs> His parents called him that because they knew he was going to be doing great things. Okay, yeah. one more thing, Mike. Yeah. I've answered all your questions so far. Well, the, uh, plausibly. Yeah. How do you get in touch with Stringfellow Hawk? Say if I have a problem, yeah, I've been bullied. I've got people trying to blow my house up or steal my, He's my got stuff. He's airwolf hotline. You don't know about that. Apparently not. I didn't realise exactly. that. He's, well, got, he's got a number that he maintains. No, that he just knows about the danger. I he mean, just, you, did you ever see anyone call him? No, that's no, why I'm confused. I, I, I don't that's understand how he knew So there would, there was there would usually start a show where maybe someone would have some well, traumatic... Like, a farmer's being harassed by a big, you know, development company or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Local gangs and taking and over and a supermarket. Airwolf and, you know, well, not Airwolf itself. That's not <laughs> self-aware. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you, yeah, Stringfellow Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> Airwolf didn't talk, D. Oh, it That's didn't. That's just ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. I don't know what you know, I was He would growl. He would growl. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there's the sound again. Yeah. Um, you sound. might notice that. He would fly and go... All right, and exactly um, what airwolf that's, would sound like. I'm not sure what that was there for, but <laughs> to but, scare the enemies. Exactly, but in answer to your question, the wolves on, are coming. Sorry, on yeah. airwolf, he had it like his own sort of like um, alert thing button. Is a if button like, a button? All right, <laughs> what like on the, on his coat? <laughs> <laughs> airwolf, did, airwolf didn't airwolf. wear a coat. D. That's just ridiculous. That was again. my thought again. Yeah, Stringfellow um, Hawk didn't have a coat on no. at any point. Oh yeah, that sort of army jacket thing. Too busy probably playing the cello in a boat or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. he did in his spare time. Because he had spare you know, time. Clenching his CIA. jaw, he was clenching his jaw and <sighs> looking serious and yeah, you know. he'll do that. But yeah, but he would. There'll be like an alert inside Airwolf when he's flying around. Just right. flying it for a sake yeah, of flying it. I'm sorry if he had wheels. Yeah, I <laughs> just one-handed. It's a lean back like that. Auto st- power yeah. steering in there. That's it. Yeah. All right. I think he had a joystick or something. All right. 
So they would fly air wolf and then there'll be another thought. I believe there's a farmer in danger. I think he's being hassled by the co- oh, so all cola these, company. All these crimes took place in the wide open air. It's not like in a... Is there a wolf? He could fly... What, how many miles an hour? I can't remember. So was it... I don't know if it was like, probably like 300 miles an hour or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I believe that's the same speed as Street Hawk. So, hollowed out mountain, uh, end the supply of weaponry, yeah, and um, hotline to crime. All the things you'd need to have air. So, if he didn't have weaponry, it'd be just a man with a helicopter. That'd be rubbish, innit? it? Yes, that would be rubbish. I think that you've answered most of my questions, Mike. I think I'm, I'm happy with what what I've learned about Airwolf and. Is yeah, resourcefulness of Stringfellow Hawk, uh, and the CIA just they didn't have anybody to kind of keep up with. They couldn't. They're the CIA. How are they going to find him? Central Intelligence you know, Agency. Central Intelligence Agency tracing their one and only um, only helicopter. Yeah, I see. Well, that was lucky for them, right? That you know yeah. he was for good. and decided to try, you know go and blow up the Pentagon or anything like that with their own weapon. That would have been. <laughs> That would, ironic, be, wouldn't it? That, would be, that would be stupid. <laughs> it was yeah. stupid. Yeah. Why would they create a weapon that they can't defend Why themselves not? against? Again, one last thing. He's got this supersonic helicopter. Why didn't he just go and find his own brother? <laughs> that's stupid. It is. I know. I that's, felt it was that's, stupid that's when that's I asked it. But you know what? <laughs> Watch the trailer and you can find out for yourself, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So, All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Um, I'm Mike. And I'm D. All right. We'll be out. Airwolves. Yeah. Wolves. Yes. They're everywhere. They should have had loads of them. Like a pack.